How to set up a contact form for a dog breeder website. This video is part of my free guide which is available on my photography website. Okay, we're using Smugmug as a dog breeder website builder. Now they have already made the contact form, which that's what it looks like. And all we need to check is that the email address is correct. So we want the profile picture. If you click on that, it'll bring down the drop down menu and you want edit my profile. Now in here is the contact email. Put the email where you would like to receive the emails from the visitors to your website. The profile photo, that's what appears on the contact form. You can easily change that. You can upload a new photo or choose from Smugmug, which is choose from one of your Smugmug galleries. Now I've already got a photo in there, one of Gertie. She's got loads of photos in here. You can store as many as you like in here. Now that's the one I'm using, the one with the green box around. And you can just click on any of your photos to choose the photo you would like on the contact form. Okay, and also in here we've got the social links. So if you've got a Facebook page for your dogs, Instagram, YouTube channel, or any other social links, just put them in there. Now, we need to be on the photo site to be able to add the contact form into the website and you want customize and that will bring up the customize panel down the side and what we want to do is add content onto the web page now all those single photos down the side that's what's already on the website and we want to add content blocks we need navigation and what we need is the button and just drag it across to where the line goes green and drop it. I shall just put this in the middle so I can zoom in a bit. Okay, right. You can have a small or a large button, solid or outline. I'm going to have an outline and the colour will have accents. We've got quite a nice bright orange accent colour so the button stands out. Now you can either choose the page, a custom URL or Add a, just click on the contact form and that will add the contact form in. You also need a title or what you would like people to do on that button. Click save, click done, publish now and that will add that button onto your website that easy. Now if you click the button because we've added the contact form just click contact and there you go that's what will happen when visitors click that button. It's as easy as that to add the contact form to your website.